you know, he calls out on the bullshit, the lies. So, you know, it's very clear to me that, you know, they're backing this guy to beat me. I'll come to show what I bring and I'm laser focused. That's where this confidence comes from. Get ready for the extended director's cut of the Garcia and De La Hoya showdown. We're diving deep into the boxing ring's melodrama. And trust me, this story has more plot twists than a M. Night Shyamalan film. We're in for a cinematic experience in the boxing world. Back to the legal bout between Garcia and De La Hoya. It's like a legal thriller with a boxing ring as the backdrop. The legal jabs are as fierce as a George Foreman punch, and the stakes are higher than a championship belt. Contracts are on the line, but so is the pride of two heavyweight contenders. Picture the courtroom as a boxing arena, and you've got a match that could rival the rumble in the jungle. Can you imagine the lawyers trading verbal blows like fighters in the ring? Now let's talk about reconciliation, because in this drama, forgiveness might be harder to find than a needle in a haystack. The rumors are flying faster than a prime Muhammad Ali jab. Is a truce in the making, or are we gearing up for another round of verbal sparring? Garcia and Golden Boy might need a referee for their relationship, but I doubt any referee could keep up with the drama in this match. And the plot thickens with Garcia's Twitter revelation. Golden Boy playing favorites? It's like a reality show where alliances are forming faster than a Mike Tyson knockout. After Garcia's victory against Oscar Duarte, he's got his eyes on Raleigh Romero. But De La Hoya might be playing chess while the rest of us are playing Monopoly. Talk about a strategic game plan. De La Hoya's response to Garcia's call-out is like a chess master contemplating the next move. Back to the drawing board, he says. Translation. We're in for a chess match, not a checkers game. The drama isn't just in the ring, it's in the boardroom too. Can you feel the tension building? Now let's talk locker room politics. Garcia, asserting dominance like a true champ, bans his promoters from the inner sanctum. It's like throwing a party and telling the VIPs they're not on the list. Bernard Hopkins, co-founder of Golden Boy, got the front row seat to the You're Not Invited show. The drama is so thick you could cut it with a boxing glove. But it's not all high fives and knockouts. De La Hoya expresses genuine concern for King Ryan's mental health. Is this a boxing match or a therapy session? Maybe we need a ringside psychologist for this one. The drama is hitting levels we didn't know existed outside of primetime TV. And here's the rumor mill spinning faster than a Floyd Mayweather counterpunch. Garcia's dealing with more than just boxing. Whispers of a certain habit of funding have fans buzzing. Banning your promoter from the locker room one day and hugging it out the next? Now that's a plot twist even Hollywood couldn't script. That can possibly just point to one thing. Garcia is funding Oscar De La Hoya's addictions. Let's shift gears to future matchups because in the boxing soap opera, there's always another challenger waiting in the wings. Garcia's eyes are set on Shakur Stevenson, and the smack talk is flowing like a waterfall. He's not holding back, calling out Stevenson for a lackluster performance and vowing to beat him in a pro fight. It's like a verbal sparring match before the actual match. As we navigate through this boxing drama, one can't help but wonder, Will this win against Duarte really mend fences between Garcia and De La Hoya? The promoter seems optimistic, but with these two, who knows? It's like a love-hate relationship. But instead of roses, they're exchanging left hooks and right jabs. Now let's add a new layer to this already spicy storyline. Rumors are swirling about a potential big-name endorsement deal for Garcia, a deal that could shake up the boxing business. Imagine the drama if he becomes the face of a major brand, especially in the midst of his feud with De La Hoya. It's like a crossover episode between the corporate world and the boxing ring. And speaking of crossovers, let's throw in a wild card, a surprise appearance from a retired boxing legend who decides to mentor Garcia. Picture this, an impromptu training montage with the Rocky theme playing in the background. The mentorship adds a new dynamic to Garcia's journey, and the fans are left wondering if this unexpected alliance will impact his feud with De La Hoya. Let's not forget the training camp shenanigans, the behind-the-scenes footage of Garcia's rigorous preparation for his next fight. It's not just about physical training. It's about the mind games and the psychological warfare that goes on in the lead-up to a big match. Enter a sports psychologist who adds a new layer to Garcia's training regimen, helping him navigate the mental hurdles of the sport. And just when you thought the drama couldn't escalate any further, let's introduce a long-lost relative of Garcia, a distant cousin who decides to enter the world of boxing. The family dynamics add a fresh angle to the storyline, creating tension and rivalry both inside and outside the ring. It's a family feud meets a boxing saga, and the fans are hooked. As the story unfolds, 
let's throw in a surprise press conference where Garcia and De La Hoya are forced to share the stage. The tension is palpable, and the reporters can't resist asking hard-hitting questions. It's a verbal sparring match that transcends the ring, and the fans are glued to their screens, waiting for the next explosive revelation. Now, let's dive into the personal lives of our protagonists, the romantic subplots that add a touch of romance to the gritty world of boxing. Garcia's love life becomes a tabloid sensation, with rumors of a secret relationship with a Hollywood starlet. The paparazzi can't get enough, and the gossip columns are buzzing with speculation. It's the perfect distraction from the intense rivalry inside the ring. And speaking of distractions, let's throw in a surprise celebrity cameo at one of Garcia's fights. The A-list star becomes an unexpected ringside commentator, adding a dash of glamour to the event. The cameras capture every reaction, and the social media frenzy reaches new heights. It's a crossover moment that elevates the drama to Hollywood blockbuster levels. But let's not forget the loyal fan base, the die-hard supporters who live and breathe every punch thrown by their favorite boxer. We'll introduce a subplot where Garcia decides to give back to his fans by organizing a surprise meet-and-greet event. The emotional connection between the boxer and his supporters becomes a central theme, showcasing the human side of the sport. Now, let's explore the aftermath of Garcia's victory against Duarte, the celebratory moments, the post-fight interviews, and the social media explosion. The win becomes a turning point in his career, setting the stage for even bigger challenges. It's a triumph that resonates beyond the boxing ring, inspiring a new generation of fighters and fans. And just when you thought the story had reached its peak, let's introduce a rival promoter who sees an opportunity to capitalize on the Garcia de la Hoya feud. The rival promoter offers Garcia a tempting deal, creating a bidding war that adds a corporate twist to the narrative. It's a battle for control, both inside and outside the ring, and the fans are left wondering which side Garcia will choose. As the story reaches its climax, let's add a surprise twist. A mysterious figure from Garcia's past resurfaces, bringing with them a dark secret that could shatter the boxer's carefully crafted image. It's a revelation that sends shockwaves through the boxing world, forcing Garcia to confront his own demons and redefine his legacy. Now let's shift the focus to the training montage for the upcoming bout with Stevenson, the intense workouts, the grueling sparring sessions, and the mental preparation. We'll introduce a new training partner, a seasoned veteran who imparts valuable wisdom to Garcia. It's a mentorship that transcends the boundaries of age and experience, creating a mentor-mentee dynamic that adds depth to the storyline. And as the day of the fight approaches, let's explore the pre-fight rituals and superstitions that both Garcia and Stevenson adhere to. From lucky charms to specific meals, these rituals become a part of boxing mythology, creating a sense of anticipation and superstition among the fans. Now, let's dive into the actual fight. The electric atmosphere, the roar of the crowd, and the tension in the air. We'll introduce a surprise guest commentator, a legendary boxing analyst who provides insights and commentary that elevate the viewing experience. It's a masterstroke that adds a layer of authenticity to the broadcast. As the rounds progress, let's highlight the strategic nuances of the bout, the feints, the counterpunches, and the mental chess game between Garcia and Stevenson. We'll introduce a sports analyst who breaks down the technical aspects of the fight, giving the viewers a deeper understanding of the skill and strategy involved. And just when you think you know the outcome, let's throw in a controversial decision by the judges, a split decision that sparks debates and discussions across the boxing community. The controversy becomes a rallying point for fans, creating a sense of injustice that sets the stage for a rematch. Now, let's explore the aftermath of the fight, the post-match interviews, the social media reactions, and the analysis from the experts. We'll introduce a subplot where Garcia and Stevenson bury the hatchet, showcasing the sportsmanship and camaraderie that exist beyond the rivalry. It's a moment of unity that resonates with fans, reminding them of the spirit of the sport. There you have it, fight fans! The Garcia de la Hoya saga is an emotionally charged epic. From legal battles to family feuds, celebrity cameos to personal redemption, this story has it all. So grab your ringside seats, because in the world of boxing, the drama never stops, and the next chapter is just a bell ring away. Until next time, keep your gloves on, your eyes peeled, and get ready for the next knockout twist in the greatest boxing saga of our time.